Okay, so first of all, go to insert and insert a chart. Then select a scatter chart and OK. Then in the X values, put in the dates. Then in the Y values, change all the values to zero so all the markers are on the axes. Then close this. Now we'll delete everything we don't need, so the Y axes and the grid lines and the title. Then we'll reposition the chart, so make it skinnier and put it in the middle then stretch it out at either end. Then we'll format the chart, so double click on the markers to open up the formatting pane and we'll change the marker to have no border and make the fill orange, then make the marker much bigger. Then select the axes and change the line so it's black and it is thicker and also go to tick marks and put in cross tick marks for the major and minor values then while the axis is still selected go to home and change the numbers so they are bold and black and make the font size larger and now we will add in some text boxes so go to shapes and select text box, click and drag, then type in the year and some information. Then select the year and change it to bold and change the font color to a slightly darker orange so that it looks similar to the color in the markers then select the outside of the text box and go to shape format and change the shape outline to orange and also change the weight to one point. Then change the shape fill to white. Then select the text box and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. That way you don't have to reapply the formatting every time. Then change the year and put in some new information and do this for all of the other text boxes until you have something that looks like this. Then the next step is to draw lines connecting all of the text boxes to the markers. So go to shapes and select the line, then Click in the centre of the marker and drag to draw the line. In order to get a perfectly straight line, hold down shift so the line can only move at 45 degree angles and then drag it upwards. Then change the line to be orange and make the weight one point. You can make the line longer or shorter by using the buttons up here. You can also move the line up and down and side to side using the arrows on the keyboard. Then you can see at the moment this line is sticking through the text box, but if I go to Arrange and Selection Pane, then you'll see here this line is straight connected to and this text box is text box 3 and if I move text box 3 over the top of straight connected 2 then here the line is still there but the text box is going over the top of it so you can no longer see it and that is why we changed the shape fill to white to hide the end of the line. Now for some of the text boxes you won't be able to connect them using a straight line so for these we are going to use the freeform shape. In order to get this to work you need to be holding shift the whole time in order to get straight lines then click and release on the marker move down to where you want the corner to be and then click and release again and then move across and click and release and then one more time click and release to draw the shape. 
then to release the whole shape press escape on the keyboard then change the shape outline to orange and change the weight to one point now i'm going to right click on this and set as default shape and then when i draw the next line out this will also be in orange and will be the right thickness then you're going to draw lines connecting all of the text boxes to the markers and when you do you will end up with something that looks like this okay so in this video i have shown you how to make a timeline in powerpoint and that is everything